go. Hey, Kelvin, um, I know lots been made about your guard rotation heading into this season, but what about your bigs? At this point in the offseason, uh, how do you see your bigs rotation right now? I don't. Not rotation, but just the guys you have coming back. Yeah, I have no idea what our rotation is. I, I'm, I'm more, I'm more worried about, um, um, you know, it's just a, it's just a process for me. Um, I think this is my 34th year. Um, you know, one of the, one of the great rules that was passed was allowing kids to go to summer school and coaches to work with their teams eight hours, say, uh, eight hours a week. You know, we just start from the ground and work our way up. You know, every, every team is, uh, every team is different. Um, it's all, it's always a little bit disconcerting, uh, this time of year, because we're always replacing four starters. And, um, you know, when you've won as much as we've won, uh, replacing four starters, you know, people just take the assumption that it's easy. It's not. It's, it's hard to work new guys in every year. Um, you, know, um, you know, the team I coached for about three months, you know, I ran uh, Tajay Moore, Kyler Edwards, Fabian White, Josh Carlton. I, I don't have them anymore. Well, Guys that are replacing them didn't play last year. Uh, Marcus and Tremont, um, you know, have uh, Marcus. Tremont really hasn't been a starter. He didn't start his freshman year. And like last year doesn't count because he was never, he was never there. Um, so we're plugging Marcus back in. Jamal has two guys that started. Uh, Reggie was injured almost all last year. Can't, um, you know, I shouldn't judge anything Reggie did based on the year before because he just never was healthy. But uh, now we're working in, you know, a bunch of freshmen, Emmanuel Sharp, um, uh, Terrence Arsenault, uh, Jarris Walker. Um, and then, you know, Kieran Powell and JVA Francis, they're almost like freshmen too, because they don't have enough minutes to say they have great experience. But, you know, we, we've been here four straight years with this same situation. That's why uh, there is no rotation right now. Just a bunch, bunch of guys trying to figure out what, what coach wants you to do today. And, um, you know, our, our goal is to get some things solidified by the time we get to October. So our practices uh, can become purposeful uh, September and October. So we'll be ready to play a game in uh, uh, November. But um, I don't know that there's any team ready to play a game anytime soon. So I don't worry about stuff like that. Time for the last question here. We'll go back to Chris Gardner, please. Chris, go ahead. Coach, how close are you to uh, finalizing the non-conference schedule and be announced? I don't know. I have no idea. I haven't really thought about that. <laughs> uh, I do know we're going to play November 7th. I think we play Northern Colorado. Uh, that's our first game. Um, um, we've had camp the last two weeks. Um, I think I, 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 I think I haven't uh, talked to um, Bobby Champagne. has been helping me with the schedule. Um, uh, I don't think I've looked at it this week. Last week, I think I think we're waiting on one game. Um, um, but you know, it's not easy to schedule. You know, there's, um, you know, a lot of people would want you to schedule this game or that game. Well, that's cool. That's cool. Call them up and see if you can get them to play us because we've tried. You know, well, how about this school? Um, you know, I can I can educate uh, most people um, because we're ignorant. Everybody's ignorant. Will Rogers had the greatest quote ever. We're all ignorant just in every area different areas. And so when it comes to scheduling, most people are ignorant. Um, um, I do it for a living. I know how hard it is. So, um, so if you're wait, if you, if you want us to play this team and that team, that's cool. Um, you um, um, have to understand how difficult it is. It used to be easy for us to schedule. It's gotten a lot harder for obvious reasons. You know, that's why I, I didn't want any, um, uh, I'll, I'll give you this little tidbit. I didn't want, I didn't want any games 
um, where we would have to return a game next year. Because in the uh, Big 12, uh, you're locked into playing a uh, two, two conference challenges. I think the SEC is one. If I'm not mistaken, I think the Big East is the other. So let's say you play 18 conference games. Well, that's 20. And then you play an MTE, that's 23. We have no flexibility anymore. So I didn't want to have to start a, a, another game at home and then next year have to return it and then have to do all that. That's, that's, why, Coach, that's why Coach Sampson has been a master at scheduling for 35 years or 34 years.